Yo, 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 welcome to the neighborhood. Before we do anything in the neighborhood, we kick off our shoes and relax our, our feet. We we set the vibe, so this is the time to just kind of do get do whatever to get you zen and cheap. We got to set the fucking vibe. You can't just, this is the time, this is where we wash off all the negative energy from the motherfucking day or we set the chi for the day. We set the vibe or the mood for the day and this the vibe for the motherfucking day. This the vibe for the motherfucking day. <laughs> Welcome to the motherfucking neighborhood. If it's your first time, if it's your first time, if it's your first time in the motherfucking neighborhood, um, <laughs> I realize I don't ever say my name. Fuck it. Oh, well. If it's your first time in the motherfucking neighborhood, make sure you bring it back. Make sure you bring it back to the bottom of the map. Make sure you go all the way back to the beginning and watch Welcome to the Motherfucking Neighborhood. Just Welcome to the Neighborhood um, and watch in chronological order from Welcome to the Neighborhood and to the point you came in on the journey. So, Welcome to the Neighborhood, the second video uploaded, the third video uploaded, the fourth video uploaded, the fifth video uploaded, the sixth video uploaded, so on and so forth, and to the point you came in on the journey. What's the point you came in on the journey, you ask? I'm glad you I'm glad you asked the point you came in on the journey is the video that you clicked that introduced you to me so for some people it's this video that's like that made you be like who the fuck is this girl what the fuck is she doing why the fuck am I watching her that video <laughs> that's the video you came in on a journey look if you came in in the middle of this journey we follow two people here two people those um well one's a spirit and one's a person <laughs> the first one is god the second one is fucking uh, uncle luke we don't stop we pop that pussy don't stop pop that pussy we don't stop we keep going past the point we came in on a journey and we watch until the very last uploaded video if you are watching these videos as they are being uploaded you get backstage passes to see greatness you get backstage passes to see greatness being made this is my proverbial noise art noah's ark shout out to the peace dealer forever and always those are his words they just fit my life so perfectly um this is the story of wherever god is taking me in my life and you get to motherfucking watch and you got to motherfucking watch you gotta watch my friend you get to watch all right so today is um finance friday oh yeah so if you want to know a little bit a little bit about the channel and why i am doing what i'm doing just a little bit just a small scintilla of why i'm doing what i'm doing it's not the whole story i'm going to use these for something much greater a little later but um something greater a little later i like that me likey um go and see a video the thing about hope or a thing about hope if you watch these videos in chronological order you'll run into that bitch so whatever 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 all right i gotta do my college and water y'all i had a motherfucking meeting i thought that bitch was at fucking at fucking 11 o'clock today that bitch was at 10 o'clock i'm laying in my bed at 9 51 like <laughs> and, and spirit was like because i couldn't find my work phone my collagen just in case you I, I i drink collagen that's my protein source of the day i drink a a, a bottle well eight i drink the powder mixed in, in about eight ounces of water uh every day um i like the benefits some shit i'm not paid to do this to pipe this shit i'm just telling you what i like that that shit i like yeah um, i had a meeting at fucking 11 9 o'clock at 10 o'clock i woke up i got rolled out of my bed at 9 51 i had to brush my teeth get dressed and hold a meeting um 
I definitely ain't staying too long because I'm gonna fucking cook me some lunch. I'm tired. <laughs> Is it December yet? <laughs> I'm tired. Like, oh my god, I'm so, I'm fucking exhausted. Like, 2020, like, I ain't let this bitch take me, but man, I worked my ass off in 2020. That's what you can't say is I, I ain't worked my ass off. Like, if you went, if, you can ask anybody motherfucking anything, and if they say that I ain't working my ass off, then they some hating ass hoes. Straight like that. Bitch, I work and, like, there's that. So today, like I say this, um, I just got off the call. I got off with the young lady. Um, I told y'all I got some things in the in the pipeline, and so um, she's she's on my team, and we we're working, and she just kind of I feel like she needed a pep talk pause. So y'all, first off, I'm a wet fuck out of this. I'm a wet this bitch out. I'm a wet this bitch somewhere. I don't give a fuck. But I, this was from the face wash, from the fucking Benzol face wash I used. I, this shit got on my fucking uh, shirt, bleached the fuck out of that shit. But now I just look like a cool tie-dye shirt. And I'm going to fucking wear that shit anyway and fight me, bitch. Um, but um, I had to give her a pep talk. Like, I, I put her over a over a certain portion of it. And this is her first time ever being over something. So she petrified. Um... I had to, <laughs> I was on that bitch. I got real ratchet with her because I had to get human with her. But I told her, you only get one shot. Do not miss your chance to blow. This opportunity comes once in a lifetime. I told her she had an opportunity to really make a name for herself. And I asked her, what does she want that to look like? And I kind of told her, I, I kind of talked to her about branding herself and how she could brand herself and to look at this as an opportunity to, to, to show people that she's more than just a hamster on a wheel. So... Um, shout out to you, little mama. Hopefully you watch these, but I know you're going to do something great. I know this going to be great. Um, because spirit told me I wouldn't have had that conversation with you if, if not, cause sometimes I don't be wanting to say this. Should I say God, just be like, bitch, I'm about to use you. So uh, you got it, little mama. God damn it. You got it. You got it. Um, so had that talk this morning. Um, I got all of my, bitch, I got my book club shit out. I need to, I, I, yeah, I gotta fucking send that. Hopefully, I, I got so much shit to do today. I actually have a meeting today. What's today? Saturday, Friday. Um, happy Friday. But I got so much shit to do. Um, I just want to fucking go to sleep. <laughs> but I asked for this. And so when you ask for this, you can't be mad. You can't be motherfucking mad at what you ask for. You get what you ask for. Um, I just hope that it all pay off. Um, so there's that. I don't have my stress tea in here, so I don't, I don't have a quote on the bitch today. I realize I ain't read for y'all in a minute. My spirit, this thing really in it right now. Today, Friday is Friday, but I can't I, I can't really talk. I don't really know what to talk about, and I blew all my money. Like, I told y'all, I spent a lot of money this weekend, um, this last week. Um, but like I said, it was all beneficial stuff. I was just getting gifts. Um, I'll say this for Finance Friday. Um, be grateful for your abundance. Be grateful and understand that uh, 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 abundance and wealth can look like many different things. Uh, it doesn't always have to be a cash or an inflow. Um, we can talk about spiritual richness. Man, I'm definitely spiritually rich. I remember I told this guy, um, Jack in the Box or Mr. Big. I'm going to just call him Jack in the Box. But I remember telling him, um, I remember we was in South Carolina and I was like, Yo, um, I'm rich already. Cause he used to always make fun of me for being poor. He used to always say I was poor. Um, <laughs> he, he definitely, he, he know what the bottom look. He definitely, he was in the trenches with me for real, for real. Um, and I used to always tell him I'm rich. I'm spiritually rich. I am. I have a spiritual rich, richness that people is just like, they probably pray for And I'm so grateful for it. Um, but I am, but wealth is many different things. Wealth is, you know, um, Wealth is investments. Wealth, wealth is relationships. Um, I'd rather have a wealthy relationship than a wealthy money. But I definitely take both. I will definitely take both. 
Um, I God, I, I you know that's no, I'm that's I'm definitely not just saying just give me you know wealthy relationships, but wealth and abundance and prosperity looks like so many different things, and so don't get caught up on what wealth and prosperity should be or what it should look like. It, it you can miss a blessing that way. I tell you all the time, a, a blessing or a prosperity or wealth can come in a, a mustard seed opportunity. It's just if you water it, God will give you a money seed, He give you a money tree, but you gotta plant the seed and motherfucking water it. And a lot of people just don't do that. So look. If God give you a money tree seed, he might not even tell you what he's giving you, but you just got to trust him. I trust you, Lord. I trust you, Lord. I was rapping and everything on the phone with uh, on, on the call with the young lady. I told her, Gucci say, I'm my only competition, so I'm battling with myself. I really am my only competition. I don't compete with no motherfucking body. Like, and that's the thing. Like, I was talking to uh, Big Ed, and he was just like, you know, you don't have no social media. I was like, because I don't really give a fuck about these people on social media. All the people that I give a fuck about, I, I call and text them. I just want to keep up. Now, I'm not trying to fucking... I'm not... A, I don't keep up with the fucking Kardashians. I don't really give a fuck what you're doing with your life. And the people who I give a fuck with... Uh, uh, fuck about what they're doing with their life. Um, I fucking call them and ask them. Hey, are you good? <laughs> are you gut? Um, I feel like social media is a way to stay detached from humans. I don't really give a fuck about humans that much. Not like... Like, I don't mean to say that in a negative way. Because I love humans and I love humanity. But I ain't ever trying to keep up with the Joneses. And me looking at you is taking time... Taking away from me and my fucking uh, legacy. I don't have time for that. Either you are part of the legacy or you're not. You don't get any energy if you're not a part of the legacy. Be like that sometimes. Bees in the trap, bitch. Bees in the trap. So it'll be like that some motherfucking time. But this has been Finance Friday. Y'all get a really quick Finance Friday. Like when I tell y'all I'm tired, boss. I'm tired. Um, and I'm so proud of myself because uh, I'm in a PMS sector of my period. And I ain't even uh, I ain't even popping off on nobody. Like I want to. Um, like, and I, I always wonder, this is a question I have for myself, too, is just, like, I be wanting to cuss people out so bad. Like, I be wanting to look at people and be like, you the dumbest motherfucker I ever fucking seen, bitch. Like, I hate you, and I know what you're trying to do, and you a fuck-ass, mark-ass, hoe-ass, bitch-ass nigga. You a hoe-ass, mark-ass, bitch-ass bitch. You ain't about what you talking about. You really ain't never seen no struggle, bitch. I can tell you ain't never been through the struggle because of because of the words you say right now. Because a bitch who really been through the motherfucking struggle, a struggle to really the bitch who really got it out the motherfucking mud wouldn't say the stupid ass, fuck ass, mark ass shit you saying. But I just smile, <laughs> and I wonder if that's a part of my repressed. <laughs> My repressed shadow side. <laughs> like, I be looking at people and listening to them talk, and I be like, a person who been through that wouldn't say that shit. Like, I'm just saying. Like, I know, because I been through that shit. Or I ain't never been through that shit, but I been close to that shit, and I can tell you that I'm not saying that shit. So, <laughs> and I know everybody different, and everybody ain't me, but I can speak for everybody, bitch. I'm like the Lorax. I speak for the trees, bitch. And I speak for the trees, and the trees want me to motherfucking tell you, bitch, you ain't never been that. Because I'm really that bitch. But you know what? You just got to let people, you know, one of my mentors told me, she was just like, you got to fucking, like, you can't worry about people doing fuck ass, wrong ass shit. Like, that ain't your job. You just keep hustling and that shit going to show, they gonna show, it's going to show itself. Um, but yeah, yeah, it's some fucking, like. I hate when I really do be trying to change the world and then people who play about changing the world come around and try to 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 fucking guilt or, or use emotions to to monetize that shit. Like, yo, no. Like, if I give you something, if I tell you something, it's, it's like, you probably feel an emotion, but I really did. I, I dealt with that shit. And I talked to you about it because I done been through that shit. I ain't trying to evoke no motherfucking, get no motherfucking money out of that shit. If, if money come, it come. But I ain't trying. That ain't my intention. My intention is to motherfucking help you. But people are, are sit, look you in your face and motherfucking lie to you and, and, and expect you to believe it because they older than you or some shit. Nah. But one thing I learned is that, like, my mouth will get me in trouble. So, not get me in trouble, because fuck that shit. Can't nobody... But you ain't gonna whoop my ass, though. Like, Kevin Gates is like, fuck that, you know? Uh, shut up or kill me, bitch. Like, <laughs> like I just really... People talk about the truth and wanting to be the truth, and... Uh, nah, nah, yeah, yeah. Like, it's some delusion motherfuckers in this world. Um, and when you know, once you know that there are delusion motherfuckers in the world, just move accordingly. Just move accordingly. I'm sitting there talking to the shorty, and I'm all sweaty. 
sticky. All right. I'm about to go cook some motherfucking lunch so I can sit at this motherfucking desk for the next nine motherfucking hours and, and work. This The lady told me yesterday, she said, if you get to know this, she said, if you, if you, <laughs> if you learn these things, then you, you, you might become one of our most valuable people. Listen to me. This ain't even on no, no, no boastful, braggadocious shit. Cause I could definitely fucking go there. Um. Uh, I could become. Listen, a person's in, of inability to see your worth does not make you worthless, bitch. And it's going to be a loss for them and that team at some point in this life because you don't see my value. But you will see the value when it's gone, motherfucker. A lot of people don't see what they got until it didn't slip betwixt the fucking crux of their hands. And to tell me that I could be fucking... The old me, bitch. But God. But the spiritual awakening and this motherfucking initiation and taught me a lot of shit. So I'm just gonna sit down and I'm gonna make myself even more valuable, bitch. I'm gonna I'm gonna hit and surpass what she deems as valuable. Because I was valuable the, the moment I came to your team, bitch, I was valuable. I added value, bitch, in so many different ways. And the fact that you can't see that, I knew you couldn't motherfucking see it because of the way you motherfucking treat me. But if you wanna start treating me different when I get to the value point and at the point, at the point that you see me as valuable, it's too motherfucking late, bitch. But I'm a, I'm a surpass that value, and it ain't got nothing to do with you because, bitch, that's me. Like, <laughs> sorry for that slight rant, but people will motherfucking undervalue you, bitch. They'll take you, they'll think you a piece of trash, bitch. They'll think you are, they don't, they won't know that you the motherfucking golden ticket balled up in some other shit, bitch. They'll treat you like shit. I'm going to use that shit to my benefit, though. I'm going to learn all I need to motherfucking learn. Bitch, I'm going to show you how valuable I am. Bet that shit up. So, with that being said, that's the vibe for the motherfucking day. Um, <laughs> Crown, that was the song by Chica. I'm going to take us out on the original Chica because that's the move. What time is it? Um, I'm about to go fucking make me some food. Um, Shout out to my best friend, Mookie. I love you to death. Um... Uh, let's go motherfucking get it. Let's go motherfucking change the world. Guys, it's Finance Friday. Um, don't undervalue things. I, I tell you, that's that's the Finance Friday. Really, You need to really learn how to assess the value of things, people, places, and things. Because you may undervalue something that, be, might, that might be more than what you gave it value for. You need to understand what value comes from. Because sometimes time and energy is more important than money. Hmm. And when you just look at something from a monetary point of view, you might miss the real blessing. Hello, somebody. But that ain't none of my motherfucking business, bitch. I ain't got to, I ain't got time to figure out your demons or help you sort them bitches out, bitch. I I have a hard time keeping my demons at bay. Because my demons want to fight your demons because your demons some pussies. But, <laughs> but God be like, uh-uh, sit down, bitch. Like, that ain't what we here to do. <laughs> but God, but God, but I know my demons can beat their demons up. <laughs> On some shit like that. On some shit like that. So, I'm about to drink my collagen water. Go make me some fucking... Go cook this ground beef and make me some cro cro croissant. A bitch love a croissant. Croissant rolls and cook, like, meal prep up until for maybe Thanksgiving. I don't know. I'm off for Thanksgiving. Thank fucking white baby Jesus, bitch. Whew, I need some days off, bitch. This little break gonna do it for me, bitch. Um, and then I'm gonna finish off the year strong. Um, I got a couple more brag things coming up. I got a couple more shits coming up. And then, um, oh shit, Wednesday is fucking, uh, is it? I think, okay, I think we work on Wednesday. So Wednesday, um, I'm thinking about meetings and shit, but yeah. So Finance Friday, uh, finish off this year strong. Guys, finish off this year strong. Finish off this year way stronger than you, than you, uh, than you, than you started. And I know that seemed hard, but that's that's what makes you even more valuable. Because motherfuckers, motherfuckers expect you to do less, but when they expect you to do less, you you go you do more. Like uh, when they aim, uh, what Michelle Obama say, when they aim low, we aim high, bitch. When these motherfuckers want us to lose, when these motherfuckers want us to spaz out, when these motherfuckers want us to be mad, we we take that shit on the chin with a motherfucking smile and a pat on the motherfucking back and be like, thank you. 
I appreciate you. I appreciate everybody. I always wake up and thank God for the good and the bad in this world. And that fuck people up. And a fuck ass nigga said some, gave me some advice like that as well. He's still a fuck boy, but like my mentor told me, one of my other mentors told me, I broke clock wrong, right two times a day, bitch. That was his two times. All right, y'all have a blessed motherfucking day. This has been a random rant. This has been a freestyle slightly Friday. This has been a motherfucking uh, finance Friday. Look at money differently. Look at what you value differently. Um, because that's the thing. That's a thing. I want to. I wonder what's going on with that ticket. Cause I don't know if anybody. Like, I know I set that shit up, and I ain't set it up incorrectly. So hopefully, hopefully they got her shit together. Um, but. We'll see um, where's high rises. High rises by Chica. Bitch, I dream of high rises. I definitely think dream of high rises. So, y'all have a blessed day. Happy Finance Friday. Happy Friday. Go get it because if you don't, you already know. You already know. Bitch, I'm tired. Tired, 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 boss. And even when I'm tired, bitch, I got, I got more energy than a, than, than a bitch who ain't slept in days. Be like that sometimes. Lord, I thank you for my life. This the shit. This is what we gonna go out on, motherfuckers. I should have cut off my light, but fuck that shit. I don't feel like nothing today. I just wanna go back to sleep.